Ladies and gentlemen, KQ here. Welcome to the market update. Hope you guys had a good week trading this week. We did see some uh, constructive uh, move from the bulls. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the levels uh, today. Uh, let's keep it simple and succinct as much as I can. Uh, here, spider, diamond, and the Qs, and we'll call it a day. Let's kind of follow up with what we've been talking about last week here, last Friday. When was the last Friday? Last Friday was uh, second, right? So it was the uh, November 2nd. So last time we did the video, yeah, it was on that gap. Yeah, I remember we talked about this gap, right? We talked about this gap. We want to see the gap holding. That's what we talked about. And then prior to the uh, November, which was October 26, and that was the lows, right? So that 26, yeah, so that was a low. So uh, just quick recap here. Basically, you know, we talked about two weeks ago, two market update videos ago, we talked about this long-term uh, support area. You can see that we have this support and the support and the support there. We also, this rising pivot, right? It was a resistance flip bullish and then kind of in that vicinity. What happened was we actually in the intraday of what day was that 29th, the 29th of October, you can see on the intraday we got below it. Everybody probably was freaking out. This thing just because we actually gapped up. You can see that this was a gap up on that day and then just completely got flushed. And then, you know, even that and then and then you can see these two supports that I've drew, drew, um, drawn here. It got below it. Right then, there's a more panic there, but then we got above it and closed right above it, and then we had like some kind of a bullish piercing type or some sort of a bullish tweezer bottom slash piercing type of candle there, and then we saw the gap. So there were a lot of shenanigans in this area. But what was important about that it was we were still holding above this level and then that primary term rising uptrend support level. Also keep that in mind, technically this low is higher than that low. So looking at my intermediate to intermediate to primary term, we can still categorize as low and a higher low in the intermediate term. Obviously in the like a minor to intermediate term, we did may lower low here. This was a lower low and then another low there, but I'm just looking at things more of a longer term here. This was definitely low there, higher lows there, right? Low, higher low, and then a higher low, right? And we talked about this last couple of times, couple of videos ago. And then last Friday, we talked about this gap area, right? Last Friday was this day here and talked about how we want to see buyers protecting this gap area. This is why we track gaps. If you've been following me on YouTube and, uh, you know, my um, blog posts and things like that, and I talk a lot about gaps here, how once you see a gap opening, we want to see gap remains open and both protecting. And that will be the first sign of uh, strength in the minor term, right? And even when the gap gets filled, does act as support, but it is much better for the momentum to continue. And obviously, they did that. This gap was not filled. If three times bears try to fill that gap, they failed. And then you can see slowly bulls got it up, and then we saw another gap up. We retested today, and this was Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, even today, the gap remains open. You can see that here, here, there's still that gap remains open. Bulls brought it up. Bears trying to really hard to bring it down to completely fill it, but they were not able to fill the gap completely. This is a minor term, minor term bullish signal. If we can get this gap continue to be open throughout next week, if we can do that, fill this gap quickly, then I think I think the my, the move can continue to the upside. Here's a few things I can suggest going into next week here in the minor term. We may hang around here a little bit and then we can gap it up above this gap, turn it into an island bottom reversal. That will be the easiest, more pain-free way for the bulls to really bring it up, right? But if the buyer's getting it up here a little bit and just grinding it up and fill this gap, then we will see some uh, resistance in that vicinity. This may come back down to retest it because of this gap. That's why the gaps, uh, when they're open, it can get a little bit hectic here because obviously this is a downside gap. The good news about 
Good news about this recent move structurally is that this is what you call equal highs. What is the definition of downtrend? Lower highs and lower lows. That's what you call equal highs. What does that mean? It means the downtrend is getting nullified, right? Once the price reclaimed this neckline, this is a potentially an inverted head and shoulder. If you actually go to hourly chart, it actually looks better. It actually looks more like um, head and inverted head and shoulder pattern. Actually, let's go to it. Let's go to hourly chart here. You can see an hourly chart. Um, you know what? I'm going to adjust that 50 a little bit. I want to do 50 price source to close. Then it's going to accommodate that high right there. So you can see, right? So you can see this is rather important level. If I just come and bring it down a little bit here. This is a rather important level because you can see this was a prior resist or prior support and now acting as a resistance. What's important about it is 50 MA, 50 MA on this hourly chart, this is actually 65 minutes guys, that's what I use, um, is actually the 50 MA, 65 minute 50 MA was declining, right? That's minor term bearish. But ever since November 2nd, you can see the 50 MA is rising back up here. That's kind of what happened in June of 2000, this year, this thing falling, right? And this was a minor term bearish. And then the 50 MA started rising back up. And since then we saw about what? That was June or July. This was October. It's about, you know, about three months of bullish run there. Three months of bullish run, right? Um, so I think what's important about it is at this point is this is equal highs potentially inverted head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, potentially right shoulder. I'm not sure where the right shoulder is gonna be as of today. If this could be here, the right shoulder, are we gonna pull back a little bit more? And then we get a right shoulder that, I don't know, we can talk about the next week. We will, up. I'll give you guys an update on it. Next, we will follow up on it, but we have very, very constructive move here. So with the equal highs, that's a good sign. We're pulling back, that's a good sign. We're seeing the uh, gap, is as of today is open that's also a good sign 50 ma here this is a daily chart of 50 ma now it is no longer it is moving sideways so now we can say the minor to intermediate term trend is slowing it is no longer vulnerable you can see it's falling and now we're moving sideways doesn't mean i mean you can move sideways and then pull back also but at least for now, you can see that the trend downtrend is slowing, potentially getting nullified. And for the confirmation of this uptrend developing on Spider is to cultivate for the first time since this pullback is higher high. If we can see higher high, because technically we don't have higher high. We have eco highs, we don't have higher high. So let's follow up next week. Let's see if the bulls can able to uh, sustain this gap up. Let's see if the bulls can able to fill this gap, hold above 277. If the gap gets filled, it should act as support as well. That's why that gap is good to track. Because once if it does come down to 274 and fill it, a lot of times it's going to act as strong support. Even then, if he, if he does come down, that's going to look more symmetrical inverted head and shoulder there and 20 ma is in that vicinity there so you may want to retest it but again I, I, as up to that i'm not sure and we'll look at it we'll see how it plays out next week i'll uh, if i see something like that i'll tweet it out or something like that at 2k kim on twitter but very constructive here obviously that 100 sma coming down did act as resistance we're just right at that level as well so again to make this most pain free for the bulls will be just gapping it up gapping it above this uh gap area turn it into an island and then we can go up here you can see in this area there's no moving averages there's no moving average coming down there's really nothing here we got a little bit of resistance maybe in this vicinity here right we got prior resistance prior support 287 level i mean there's a tiny gap there's a little tiny gap here not a huge one and there's a little tiny gap so those ones gonna give you a little trouble but nothing major basically there's nothing major up here so this is a level to watch 281 282 level if we can able to break above 281 282 next week and cultivate higher high I think we're gonna get to all-time high there diamond diamond is now leading and beating S&P Remember earlier this year, Diamond was the most lagger 
out of all the indices. But as of today, Diamond is up 66% year to date, while the Spider is at 5.1. Diamond is actually beating S&P this year now. And you can see it in a chart because Diamond is the only index as of today that looks most bullish. Actually, Q's looks more be most bearish as of today. Spiders in the middle, Diamond most bullish. And I'll talk about that on the Q's. Q's is up 12% year to date, but as far as chart is concerned, the minor term perspective, minor to intermediate term, Q's actually looks most vulnerable. And a lot of these large tech stocks been coming down like Google, Netflix, Facebook, um, Nvidia, Amazon. A lot of these stocks been coming down that's really weighing Q's down. But here on the diamond, even today, you can see that Dow's only down 0.7%, whereas Q's is down 1.7. And you can see on the Dow, higher high for the first time. We do not see that on the spider. We see that spider, we have an equal highs. Actually, let's go to Q's. On the Q's, we have what? Lower high. Lower high. See? lower high technically we're still in a downtrend on the queues right spider we are you can see that we're we have a equal high that means the downtrend is getting starting to nullify right but when you look at the diamond this is the key diamond actually is now officially in an uptrend in the minor term you know why because we got the higher high that means it could come down, cultivate a higher low before going up here. Not only that, we haven't even begun to retest 258, the gap area. And this gap is still open. You see on the spider, we have this gap, this gap still open. And the partially this gap has been filled today, a little bit, but still open, right? On the diamond, that gap is still immaculate. It is still pristine. It has been filled, has been retested. So we got this gap, full gap open, this full gap open. But when you go to the Q's, this gap has been filled. Do you see this? This gap is filled. Only this gap is open now. This gap from down here in November, October 31st gap. This gap is open, but this gap has been filled now. So Q's looks most bearish at this time, whereas diamond looks most bullish at this time, you see. And you can see if I just zoom in here, this is what we talked about a couple weeks ago. This was the support. We got that support. We got this support. Look at that on this day, just total major bear trap where this thing was, because what happened was on that day, it gapped up. This was where it closed. We gapped up here and tanked all the way down, even below, below this rising uptrend supports that I've drawn. This is what we talked about a couple weeks ago. And then got back up and cl closed just right above this support that we've drawn here. You can see, just got right above it. Just made sure, bulls made sure they were not drowning. We got right above it and we have perfect tweezer bottom. This is a perfect tweezer bottom right here. Perfect, diff perfect size, right? equal size perfect tweezer bottom reversal gapped up confirmed the tweezer bottom reversal candles and then we held this that's what we talked about last week we want to see this gap holding if we can see that the buying pressure could continue that's what we're talking about last friday and today you can see we made another open gap we have cultivated higher high now we can see 50 ma 20 ma starting to rise back up Diamond starting to look very bullish here. Diamond looks bullish. Diamond in the minor term, bullish. Spider in the minor term, neutral. Why? Because of equal highs here. On the Qs in the minor term, bearish. Why? Because we still in a lower high zone. Lower high, lower high, high. lower high, lower high. Lower low, lower low. Technically, we're still in a downtrend on the Qs. But other indices going to help. Other indices are going to help the NASDAQ to prop up itself here. This was a rising uptrend support we've drawn a couple weeks ago. We got slightly below it, trapped a lot of people, got up, and then now we're here. You can see 200 SMA is still there. You got that gap, that gap was filled. You know, like, you know, just like I said, the gap was filled, right? So this gap was filled today, and that would give 
a bullish star early next week. I think uh, there could be some, you know, quick run to the upside, but because of this downside gap, I think once it gets up there, it's gonna have some resistance in that vicinity. So we may see some shenanigan in that vicinity. We want the Qs to hold above 168 and keep, at least keep this gap open. Then finally, there might be another chance to break out above it. And for this to completely turn around, there's actually a little gap here. For the Qs to turn around, we wanna see, we wanna see Qs to, so there's a prior low we want to see Qs to get above 180 and cultivate higher high because Qs don't have higher high yet. So Qs still got more work to do. Diamond looks so much bullish here with the, for the first time, only index to cultivate higher high. We can categorize this a bullish sentiment in the minor term. Moving averages are starting to cross back up here. Spider is uh, neutral as of today, we need to get above this, potentially make it into inverted head and shoulders. This is a neckline. We want to see cultivation of a higher high. If you can see diamond and spider cultivating higher high, then Q's is probably going to follow. Let's see how it plays out next week, and we go from there. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and good luck training next week.